So first topic for today is base theorem or you can say name base theorem. Like one only the thing is like we did not know the crux of the particular theorem and why the use of the no practical use. We will uh, how many pro projects we have done, it is not clear now. It's not uh, useful. What is not useful? Like ma'am, uh, without knowing the purpose of these theorems in that particular practical use of uh, in the machine learning model, we cannot we cannot understand when we are doing more pro more projects also. And then yes, that is what. So herein lies the concept of uh knowing the fundamentals you have to know the fundamentals before you work on the projects or anything like that and for knowing the fundamentals your concept should be 100 percent thorough correct yes ma'am yes yes. Ma yes so base theorem so base theorem is what it is an extension of your conditional probability what is conditional probability there is a some relationship between the already occurred event conditional so probability would... means the probability of the occurrence of an event given that the other event has already occurred and, and we occurred. and we read it as probability of a given that b has already occurred so b occurred. is an event which has already occurred and based on the occurrence of b we assume that if b has occurred then what is the probability or what is the chance that a will occur okay so, the occurrence of A is dependent on the occurrence of B. So, B has to occur. So, and based on that, we will be calculating the probability or the chance that A will occur. So, it can be read as probability of the occurrence of A given that B has occurred. Okay. So, this is the conditional probability. And now, what Mr. Bayes has done, he has given a formula which is a revised extension of your uh, uh, this one, uh, conditional probability. He has just extended the concept of conditional probability and formulated the revised probability or the new probability, which is given by the statement of Bayes' theorem. And it is read as probability of B, probability of A upon B, right? probability of a upon b is equal, equal to, to probability of b upon a into p of a by p of b ma'am like what is the okay ma'am hello hmm. like yes. here we are finding that we are finding the a uh, based on the b event already occurred but here p of b is like ma'am uh, finding the a finding the b based on a occurred I mean. Wait, wait, let me just come to this point. Now, this is the revised probability. This is the revised probability or the posterior probability. In terms of Bayes' theorem, we say this as posterior probability. Okay? We'll explain you all this. And PA and PB. PA and PB, these are the prior probabilities of event A and B. Prior, prior probabilities of events A and B. And P of B by A is the conditional probability. Conditional probability of the event probability of the event A given that B, uh, given, uh, probab conditional probability of the event B given that A has already occurred. So, this is the conditional probability. This is These are the prior probabilities. And what is this? This is the revised probability or the posterior probability that is given by Bayes, Mr. Bayes. And this will give you the revised or the new probabilities based on the computation of this formula. Okay? Clear or not, Aditya? Yes, ma'am. Clear, ma'am. Yes. So, your... New probability is what? In this case, the new probability that you are calculating, it is your probability of B upon uh, A upon B, which is also mm -hmm. read as the posterior probability of the event A, given that event B has occurred. It is also occurred. called as the revised probability of A. It is the revised or the new probability of B. Now, this you are calculating it using the formula. Now, this is the statement or the theory behind your base theorem. Now, if I 
ask you, Aditya, where in the real time can we implement this knowledge, this knowledge of Bayes theorem, where we can apply in the real time? Can you, like, just it is an ask to you, can you uh, give me any uh, example from the real time where I can relate this picture into the scene? Yes, ma'am. Like, uh, uh, there is a, we have, I have studied an example like, uh, 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 like uh, cloud forming of cloud uh, will be impact on the rain. Cloud formation. Before uh, already cloud formation, it should be indicated to the rain. Like P of rain, given that yes. cloud has already occurred. Yes. So this is what this is the conditional probability. Yes. Whatever you are saying, this is the conditional probability. So the probability of the for, uh, formation of rain given that cloud has already formed. Probability of the rain given that cloud has already formed. This is what? This is the conditional probability of rain given that cloud has already formed. So I am not talking about only conditional probability. I am talking about the revised probability or the posterior probability, which is computed using the conditional probabilities and the prior probabilities. Any example from the real time? Given that we already have come. Okay, let me give you an example. Very nice example I have. I will share it with you. Suppose I have a class of 50 students. Okay, my dear. Yes, ma'am. 50 students are there in the class and I have four subjects as extracurricular events. These are the extracurricular events that is distributed among 50 students. One is okay. boxing, one is football, one is painting, another is swimming, another is tennis. Okay. These are the five events that is distributed among the 50 students. So for each of these, I can calculate the prior probabilities, probability of boxing, probability of football, probability of painting. Amma. What happened, Aditya? Aditya, you were speaking to somebody else? Am I audible to you, Aditya? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, you're audible. Okay. So, probability of swimming and then it is the probability of tennis. Yes, tennis. So, I have some particular value for each of this. The, for each of these, I have the prior probability values. Okay. Correct or yes, not? Prior, prob prior probability values. Yes. Huh. Now, suppose a new event has occurred. New event in my case is skating. I'm skating. Now, when this new event has occurred, now what is the probability of the occurrence of skating given that this has already occurred? So now what, what, you, what I mean by this, this is when skating has occurred, number of students is 50. Okay. So, these probability values, whatever I was having, when skating has occurred, there is a chance that some will be shifting to skating. So, yes, I will be having this conditional probability, say probability of football, given that skating has al already occurred. So, when skating has already occurred, now probability of football will change, probability of painting, swimming, tennis, boxing, everything will change. Clear or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Now, okay. if I have to calculate the new probability, probability of skating, given that this is my new in item which is introduced to the model. So, once this is introduced, these all the probability values will change. So, my skating will be determined based on these values that have been changed. Correct? 
these values will be changed correct right or not yes, suppose example i say 50 students means here i have given 10 25 5 10 10 20 30 40 and 10 10 10 ma'am earlier the the uh, distribution was like this now after skating what has happened five students has moved from skating moved to skating from tennis so tennis students became five and remaining they didn't change so these prior probabilities i am giving example it has remained same but it might also change right some students from football might also move to skating correct or not yes ma'am so what will happen these probabilities may change due to the occurrence of skating yes ma'am it will change yes this may change so this is an example of Bayes theorem where the revised probabilities will be calculated based on the occurrence of the new event. Here skating is the new event and the probability of this is calculated based on the occurrence of this, the events, the prior probabilities which has already changed, this will be changed. Clear or not, Aditya? Here, here, uh, like in reverse probability, uh, based on the occurrence of a new event, that old event uh, should be changed, you are telling, should be changed. Yes, so old events, the prior probabilities, whatever you have, and the conditional probabilities, whatever you have, it is not that it should change, but it can change, correct or not? In my yes. example, these things are not changing, only this has changed, correct? Yes, ma'am. So but ma'am, one thing, hmm. uh, like we will, like at a time we can only uh, compare two events, ma'am. Yes, at a time you can only compare two events. Correct. So that is why I am, I am just, I have written this probability of skating given that football has occurred. So at a time you can compare two events, and based on that you can come to the conclusion that when skating has occurred, what is the occurrence of? Football. When skating has occurred, what is the occurrence of tennis? So at a time, you can calculate two events and even you can calculate multiple events also, which is will be an extension. But first, first, first focus on this part. Okay. The same concept will be utilized when you are using multiple conditions also that multiple, uh, uh, this is what I, multiple events. Then also you can just, you can have an extension of the Bayes theorem. That will be an extension of your Bayes theorem where you are including the multiple events. So there, you, it will be probability of A into probability of B into probability of C, but basic concept will be same. So here, just I'm introducing this concept with the two examples so that you understand that with two examples, when one example, when one event has been introduced, the other event got changed. Similarly, if suppose this one got 8 and this one got 2 and this one got 11, all have moved to football. In that case, all the events will be changing. Ma'am, one thing, ma'am. Here, what we have found that is there any changes occurring on football or not? We have to find using when, when there is a new, new probability is occurred, like skating. Is there any impact is happening on the football or not you are checking with the new first, new act. Wait, first you will be checking the probability of the new event. Skating is the new event that has occurred. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, so yes. probability of the new event based on the prior probability. So this you will, your focus should be on this, the new event that has occurred, how it has caused the change in the other probabilities. You will be finding that. Always the focus is on the new event. What is the statement? Bayes theorem is an extension of the conditional probability. It describes how to update or revise the probability of, a, of an event based on new evidence or information. That is the statement for the Bayes theorem. So always the focus will be on the new event that has occurred or the new information that is given to us. Correct? I think... Um, like I, what I got is like here. Um, here, uh, skating is skating is a newly occurred event, and hmm. it is. Uh, we are checking that how much impact it is creating on the football or other events. 
and mm. equal to probability of uh, skating uh, already occur that value is already we have know that value skating uh, how probability of a probability of skating uh, given that pro probability of, of uh, football already occur we have know that values all the prior probability are no values we have to know that what is the impact that has creating on the football we have to know that one while and while you enter the new new event while giving the new event not only on the on this football but yeah you yeah, are yeah. you are calculating the probability of the new event based on the occurrence of the other events. So definitely the focus is on the new event. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this is an ex this is a practical implementation where naive based theorem is used. Now, if you want to use the same concept, you will be using naive based classifier in, for your classification models. Always remember, like decision tree, random forest, these all you can use both classifier as well as regression. But when you use naive base, it is applicable only for your classification models, wherein we use the name base classifier. Underlying concept is the same. Correct? Yes. It's, a, it's for okay. a classification problem. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So just the remaining things will be just the same. Just import name base classifier. Then name base classifier, whatever object you have instantiated fit it to the training data and use this for the predictions. After doing the predictions, you take the evaluation matrix and see whether your predictions are close to the actuals or not. Correct? Yes. This is how the yes. flow occurs? Yes, confusion matrix. Huh? A confusion matrix. Yeah, confusion matrix is also a, uh, what I should say, it is also an evaluation matrix which can be used in the case of classification problems. So you can even use confusion matrix for analyzing the performance of your classifier. Correct? Yes, Up to this much, 100% is clear, I think so, Aditya? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, Aditya. Okay. Now, Aditya, since I got the message that the session will be stopped, what I would request you is, you please uh, log out and log in. I will also log out and log in. Okay? Oh, okay, ma'am, okay. Okay.